Wednesday afternoon and I've just gotten home from work. My work week, at least at my nine-ish to five-ish job is uh, Monday to Wednesday. So I've got, it feels like the start of my weekend, even though I do work Thursday evening and Saturday, but I just kind of have, <laughs> I just, I just like to tell myself that I have a four day weekend, even though it's not really true. Um, yeah, so I just got home from work. I did some tidying. I'm doing some journaling because when something happens to me that I want to remember or I want to work through, it's a big sleepy boy under my desk there, sleepy parts. Yeah, when something that I want to be able to process or remember happens to me, I like to journal about it and have a chance to, oh, I'm getting a phone call. That was Kelsey. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah. Um, I wish I had a more regular journal practice, but I tend to only pull it out when I have something very specific that I want to uh, like process, but I'm working on doing it more consistently because I do find it really helpful. And it's also really nice to like go back through my journal and reread reflections from the past. I'm gonna finish some, I finished, I started an art print last weekend. It's a little mushroom art print and I really have wanted to make one of these for a long time because I have like, I really love mushrooms in the past couple years. I've really gotten into them on a very like, very thorough level because not only do they look cool and I want to make art with them in it, but I have learned a lot about them and, the, and like fungi's potential to help with so many problems in the world. And like, it's, there's just so, it's so interesting and there's so much to know. I really want to take a course in mycology and learn even more. And so I just want to like worship them to the level they deserve to be worshiped and like make art with them in it. And they just also, they look so cool. So I'm making a mushroom print. I for so long talked myself out of it because I was like, there's so many other cool people out there making cool mushroom prints. The world doesn't need my mushroom print. And I realized that that was silly <laughs> because I've come to change my mind about feeling like I need to be super like completely original and anything I make has to be completely different than anything else out there because I've come to realize that one artist I love might make a version of something and I really like their version and then someone else might make something really similar and I also like their version and then maybe someone else out there might make a version that's quite similar but there's just something about it that doesn't quite speak to me the same and like that's like maybe my mushroom print is going to speak to someone on a level that none of the other ones they've seen have and they can put it on their wall and it'll bring them joy and that doesn't mean that the other ones out there aren't great. There's just something about the way that I expressed my feelings about mushrooms into an art print that really spoke to said person in this scenario. So I'm making a mushroom print because also life is short and maybe if I don't do it now, maybe I'll never get to make a mushroom print. So I'm gonna work on that tonight, I think. Probably just watch some YouTube videos while I do that. Probably gonna play some Pokemon because I got the new Legends of Arceus? Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm just having fun running around and throwing pokeballs at stuff and it battling and not letting my really cute Pokemon evolve because even though I know that that's worse for me in the long run because they are stronger when you let them evolve, they're just so cute and I don't want to let them evolve into their less cute forms. This weekend uh, is one of my best friend's birthdays, so I'm gonna make her a vegan cake. We're having a little get together for her, and then I work, and then I'm gonna figure out something, whatever I'm gonna do on Sunday, and probably bring you along for that. So this will be like a whole, whole weekend kind of vlog. Hope you enjoy. I'm gonna get to working on my art print now.
response, that is the kind of thing that you can possibly reinforce it, as opposed to bribing your doctor to do something, right? you have to do not in respect, and then you reinforce that, and it's just a one separate ship is restructured, or one you've gone through the process of restructuring that relationship, you have to focus on the challenges in the real world for our dogs, it's really likely that they're going to make mistakes, especially as you're getting farther away, and that you show them how to be within a couple of seconds in that position. Now at the top of the video, you saw us have the dogs lined up two feet away from their food bowls, and they were all sitting... Hello, welcome to Friday. I just got back from some errands. I got some groceries and went to the dentist, which is like my least favorite place to go. Um, and now I'm going to go to Bulk Barn, which is one of my favorite places to go because I just love shopping in bulk because they have the best stuff and it's cheaper and I can bring my own jars and save the planet a little bit. Um, so that's where I'm headed now because I want some supplies to make, oh my gosh, this is making my arm so sore. Casual arm switch. Um, some stuff to put on my friend's cake that I'm gonna make this afternoon when I get back. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling kind of gross today because this little jerk kept us up all night last night. Didn't you? Yes, you did. But you're so cute. I forgive you.
cupcakes are cooling. I'm gonna work on... The volume is probably crappy from there, isn't it? Let's get a little closer. Okay, yeah, so while my cake's cool, I wanna make a, like a birthday, maybe like more like, rather than a card, more of a postcard for Denny because I wanna do like a little drawing of her and her cat, Basil, cause they're just so dang dang cute. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna listen to a podcast maybe while I do that for a bit because I am famous for trying to handle my cakes while they're still hot and then they break apart <laughs> coming out of the pan. So I'm gonna be patient and wait for them to be fully cool before I start making the icing and working on that. <laughs> Hi guys. So it's actually Monday right now and uh, the last time I filmed and I was going to wrap up the vlog from the stuff I did on Saturday, I think. It's either Friday or Saturday. Saturday. Doesn't matter. Um, but it's Monday and I just got some fun mail that I want to open with you guys because who doesn't love a little fun mail sesh? Um, is this a good angle? Oh, is this like super crooked? Hold on. Maybe that's slightly better to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so package number one is um, from Neela Illustrates, who is one of my dear artsy friends who I bet is watching this. Love you lots. I'm very excited to open this. Um, don't get too excited though because I nab like the last one of these things that exists. Oh 
God, I'm scared to cut it and hurt it. But yeah, even though you shouldn't get excited about this specific object, I'm being so suspenseful, um, you should go check out her shop in general. She's like one of my favorite people on the internet and all of her art like makes me so happy. <gasps> There's something in here that I didn't... Oh my gosh, it feels like washi tape. Mila, if this is washi tape, I'm gonna scream. <gasps> No way. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. Gotta get my face out of it or it won't focus on this. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. How sweet. I don't think Mila made these. I think we were just talking about these the other day. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. These are so, so, so cute. I might die. Look at these little fox babies. Oh my goodness. Mm, I love them so much. Oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous that penmanship is. Can you even? I can't even. Oh my goodness. Oh my- Neela, you freaking spoil me every time you send me things. Okay, hold on. Maybe this card has something- oh wow. Ugh. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna read this card and then I'll decide whether this is staying between me and Neela if I'm gonna read it to you. Ugh. She sent me- so what this was- so I bought something from her which I'm gonna open in a second but these other treats are things that she got me as a Christmas gift that it just so happened that I messaged her about getting this other thing and then she had these treats for me. So they're from other, um, this thing is made by her and these little treats are from some other artists. This one is from an artist called Tink Outside the Box who she actually recently just told me about. Let me get my face out of here. So precious. And then I believe one of these... Oh no, these washi tapes are from different artists. This one is um, Nutmeg and Arlo, the little foxes. And then the little mushrooms were, pa oh yeah, Palace of Resin. Cute, 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 cute. And then um, this card is also take outside the box, this little elf, so precious. Oh. I'm so happy. I Surprise gifts are pretty much the best thing ever. Okay, so here's the thing I actually ordered. I love, I have like so many of Neela's fun little stickers, her little add-in stickers, but they're just so cute. I want to put them on everything. So I'm always happy to get more. Okay, here is the thing I've been building up to that I ordered. It's Neela's 2022 calendar. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. I am a little sad that the postal system let us down a little bit and I didn't get this in time to showcase have the January one up. But I, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited to have it. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so sad I don't get to stare at this for a whole month. It's adorable. I love the layout of this calendar. I love that it's kind of like a one pager kind of a smaller size and the layout is just so good. She crushed it, it's so cute. Let's look at February. I won't go through the whole calendar because I know this vlog is already kind of long, but whoop, that was my phone. Look, it's so cute. Ah, I'm so glad this is gonna, I'm putting it right here, like right in front of me at my desk so I can admire it constantly. I love it so much, Neela. You're the best. Okay, and then my other, fun mail, I've made an absolute disaster with my desk, is from my other art bestie, my online art bestie, Pandora. Um, Pandora just released these amazing notepads and I could not resist. <laughs> I, um, okay. Ooh, look at them. Look, hold on, let me make sure I'm holding it the right way. I could 
melt right now. They're just so cute. I'm so excited about this. These are gonna be my new grocery list pads. I also think, so here's a funny story behind these notepads. I went to buy them because I had to have one because they're so good. And then I went to, because um, Pandora creates the prices in euros, I think. Sorry, I'm like um, uncultured and don't, I'm European noob. Um, but I, anyways, whatever currency you have over there. Um, anyways, Pandora created the listing in that currency. And then the, the when it was exchanged to Canadian, the price for one of these notepads came to 666. So I was like, I can't just get one. I can't let the total be 666. So on the com I've ordered three and then in the comments um, on my Etsy order, I wrote, um, had to order multiple to banish the devil. And then Pandora wrote back when she sent out my order, joke's on you, now they're just thrice as satanic. So I think I love them a little bit more <laughs> because of that. Thank you, Pandora. Your art also brings me so much joy. Um, go check out both of them. I will, oh my gosh, um, put their handles in the description because they're two of my favorite artists ever and two of my favorite people ever, so thank you so much. So this is the end of the vlog, so thanks for watching. Um, you people who are here at the end of the video are my favorite people in the whole world. Don't tell everybody else, um, but it's pretty cool that you stuck around. You're great. You deserve to have an amazing day and I hope to see you soon. Take good care. Love you. Bye.